This is the 10th Massachusetts White Ribbon Day organized by Jane Doe. I also want to thank all of you for being here today uh, because being here is far more than just a simple act of showing up. It is a statement. It is a statement that we will stand up. It is a statement that we will not be silent. It is a statement that we will inspire others to join this historic campaign. But today especially is a matter of who you are and who you know. It's who you can influence, who you can inspire, who you can use your associations with to teach, to educate, to get them also to be uh, advocates, to speak against violence, all gender-based violence. And our next speaker represents the deep well of support we have from Governor Baker's administration, who is serving again as our honorary chairperson. Lieutenant Governor Karen Polito has been an advocate on these issues since her time when I served with her in the legislature. As chair of the Governor's Council on Sexual Assault and Domestic Violence, she's, she has kept a vigilant eye on ensuring the Commonwealth's laws on gender-based violence are faithfully executed. One of the things that we know we have a lot of work to do is on this issue of prevention. And as we come together for this 10th anniversary of White Ribbon Day, I really believe that we can use the White Ribbon banner to talk about prevention and reach people at their youngest age to talk about what is acceptable. One of the things that the governor and our team uh, worked on over the past uh, two years, and we have much work to do in this space as well, is the issue of opiate addiction. What was evident to us is that people were talking it, about it secretly. They were talking about it in the shadows of a room. I have a loved one, I have a son, I have a daughter that is suffering from addiction. But what we did first and foremost on that campaign was to change the conversation. That it's not a character flaw to be addicted <coughs> to a drug. It is a health issue. And we launched a campaign around being a state without stigma. It's a very similar campaign that we are launching here today. We do not need victims of violence or sexual assault to feel that there is a character flaw, that there is something wrong with me, that this happened to me, but to be able to speak freely that this is something that's not acceptable and we have to prevent it from happening again or to someone else.